Hi, I'm Debbie Simons, owner of the Ritz Jewelry. I've been in business for over 25 years at the same location on Herndon and Blackstone. My customers fill each day with surprises, adventures, and a lot of laughs. So come along with me for a day at the Ritz. Hi, Debbie. Uh, hi, do I know you? Well, my name is Barbara. Uh -huh. And Debbie, I have to tell you, I'm one of your biggest fans. I saw your first show, and I thought, this is going to be ridiculous. Oh, ridiculous. My anyway, my name is Barbara. Oh, hi. And I absolutely love your show, Debbie. Oh, I just came by because I saw your lights were on, and I said, let me go tell her. I, I don't know this lady, but I'm going to tell her. I got some money from you. I didn't believe this thing worked, and I brought my gold in, or I had my gold brought in for me. I got $1,000, Debbie. No <laughs> oh, really? Wait, it really works. Oh, so you and, brought, a friend brought it in? or No, a friend brought it in. You didn't come. No, I didn't come. And then oh, no. I told the lady at work about you. Uh -huh. I said, go to the Ritz. I promise you, she'll buy it. As long as it's gold, if it's broke or anything, go and you'll buy it. Well, you are. Because I did. Fan. I did. Look at you. Thank uh, you. Yeah. And your father. Oh, oh. your father. Oh, uh, the last show when he's playing the piano and seeing me happy did birthday. You, did you cry? Yes, I did. Was... I cried for two days. You did? Yeah, I couldn't see out of my eyes for two days, Debbie. It was wonderful. Love. Are you going to get him a Mercedes for Christmas? No. No, no I'm going oh. I'm, 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 I'm to try. He's 87. He shouldn't even be driving. But I, I'm going to try. I, he wants one. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll, well see. he's just precious. And I love your show. Oh, I got something, oh, Debbie. What you want to see what this is? This was uh, on my tooth. What is that? That's, they said it was gold. Uh, boy, I guess you, you did sell everything and you missed one piece, huh? Yeah. That, that looks like a tooth. Okay. When I get false teeth, I'll bring those in too, but right now we have to use that one. Well, the good thing is <laughs> it's good. yellow gold. I like that. So let's have a seat right here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, this is how it works, Barb. We take this um, little tester, put it on here to make sure everything is good, and it's testing, testing, and it looks like it's, wow. What is like it? Like it's 16 karat gold. What's that mean? Is that yeah, good? that's good. Uh, teeth are usually 16 or 18, sometimes 14. Oh, really? Usually a little higher than 14. And it looks like, yeah, it's not, it doesn't weigh a whole lot, but it's, it's not. Still yeah, it's still good. Yeah. Uh, how's twenty dollars sound? Cool. Oh, I'll yeah. <laughs> take it. <laughs> I see everybody going. Good. I'll take it. Well, me too. <laughs> okay. Debbie, yeah, you're so cute. I love this show. Oh, well, I am so happy that I have a fan. You're so gracious with everyone. Oh. And my you gosh, just give Mark. to them, and you're so. And your father. Uh, let me know when yeah. you take it so I can smile. I don't want to be. I don't be mean looking. <laughs> He just loves you so much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Debbie, I love you. Your dad loves you very much. Thank you very much. You're just, you're very gracious. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for saying that. That makes me feel good. Let's get some paperwork okay. done. We'll get you a $20 bill. All right. Thanks, Debbie. Okay. Okay, Barbara, here's your big $20 for your tooth. There you go, Debbie. It works. Come to the Ritz. It works. We'll make you happy. Thank you, Debbie. We gotta go. Bye. Bye. Hi, Elvis. <laughs> there he is, Deb. <laughs> are you are you locked in? I'm out. Yeah. Oh, you gotta, oh, you gotta go the other way. <laughs> okay, oh, that, yeah, let, oh, oh, oh. How do I get that, back in? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish I had all my customers like that. <laughs> Good lady. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How can we help you? I'd like you to check out this ring. Are you still giving the highest prices? Absolutely. Let me take a look at it and see what carrot it is. It's Mark 10K. Let's test it. 10 on the nose. Okay, now I'm gonna wait. I can offer you some. I'm gonna go ahead and See what kind of price we can get for you. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. You're welcome. Deb, can you come out here for a minute, please? Yeah. 
Hi, how are you? Oh, how you doing? You're still giving the highest prices in town? I hope I hope we are. I think so. That we, sounds great. You've been here before then, if you know about our prices. I have been. Good. Well, yeah. welcome back. Are you buying silver? Yeah, we are. I think we're the only ones in town that are taking silver jewelry that I know of. Yeah, I could use some gas money to get to Monterey and back. <laughs> oh, or just to get there. <laughs> oh, we're going to get you there. Don't worry. Uh, what do you have here today? Thank you. A oh, ring. Okay. Ten Ten car, ring. Ten carat gold ring. Did you give her a price yet? I have you given a price because I want you to give her the best price yet. And was this 10 carat or 14? 10K. Okay, let me just check it out. Alrighty. How's a 120 sound? That sounds good. Wow, that's That'll good. That'll get me there and back. All righty. All right. We'll do it. Okay. We're going to go get some cash for you. All right. Thank some... you. I used to sing professionally. You did? Yes. Uh -huh. Sing a song. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, Some say love, it is a river. Oh, I don't even remember that one. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Thanks, Debbie, at the Ritz. I've got some money to go to Monterey and have a little vacation. I really appreciate you taking my jewelry. And I'll see you again with some silver. All right, we'll see ya. are sign twirlers on the streets every day. During the blazing heat of Fresno, their efforts result in success for our store and our customers. Debbie, why was Gordon on TV last week and I wasn't? Am I not your favorite anymore? Look, I went out and bought you a new dress and bought new shoes. <laughs> you're always complaining, of course you're my favorite. But sometimes Gordon needs to be on TV too. You know, he does work hard also. Bought a new dress? Yeah. Let me see. Oh my gosh, look at you. Turn around again. You must, you must be getting paid too good. No, I won some money somewhere. I'm not supposed to tell, <laughs> but what? I did. How much you win? Oh, I can't tell that for sure, but I won some money. Where'd you win it at? Yeah, money. Oh, one of those places where you put money in and money comes out. <laughs> You've been hanging out at the casinos again? <laughs> <laughs> or is it the ATM machine? No, I don't have any money at the ATM. <laughs> Hey, Princess, I heard you're going on vacation soon. I haven't decided exactly when. You know the weather and everything. I don't know when I want to go. You got to tell me when you're going so I can replace you while you're gone. Okay. Because you, you keep stalling these vacations. So you got to tell me when you're going to go. Where are you going to go? Where am I going to go? Not the casino. Oh, no. Paris, Rome. Wow. New York. I can't believe it. You have that kind of money to travel like that? <laughs> How much are you making out there? You pay me. You know how much I make, Debbie. <laughs> well, I'm not going to Paris. <laughs> I better get that sign and go out there and see how much money I can make. Uh, I made $5 the other day, okay? <laughs> Five dollars? That's pretty good. On top of your pay? Uh -huh. That's very good. I won the trip to Paris and Rome. How'd you win it? <laughs> That's right, you put a quarter in Cleopatra. 
<laughs> you did win your vacation. Yeah. Hey, there you go. So you're not getting overpaid. <laughs> but you got that quarter from working. You got that quarter from working at the Ritz to make that jackpot. Well, yeah, I don't take quarters off the street. <laughs> Here comes a guy named Jacko, or his name is Alex. He's known all around town. He rides a bicycle, he wears his glasses kind of low on his, on his uh, nose. And in order to get on the good side of Jacko, you always gotta give him a $5 bill when he comes in. He needs hamburger money. You give him five bucks, the guy's happy. Alex, what are you doing? Hey. What, you know better not to bring your bicycle in. What are you doing? De Debbie, uh, cousin you Debbie. Uh, Sunday, uh, I was at. What, uh, what are you bringing your bicycle in for? To be safe. It's kind of daddy butt. It's, it's my only bike. Well, Jacko brings his bike in the Ritz because last time he brought his bicycle, he leaned it on our front door window, and somebody jumped on it right in front of him and took off with it. He was devastated. So I bought him another bike. Now he won't leave it outside. He brings it in every time he stops by to say hello. He's scary. Somebody might jump on his bicycle again. He calls me his cousin, and I let him call me his cousin because he was married, his mother was married to my dad's brother's wife's sister. Go figure. If he wants, if he wants me to be his cousin, I'll be his cousin. Give my, give my dad half that. If you notice Jackal's looks, have you ever seen the guy on the Andy Griffith Show? Ernest T. Bass jumps up and down in the forest. This is Jacko. You gotta give Jack a $5 bill or a $10 bill for lunch or something. You don't wanna make a man. He might throw a rock through your window, just like Ernest T. Bass. <laughs> Here's $10 for a soda. Thank you, Daddy. Give me some. My dad. High five. He don't like Jack very much. <laughs> and he give you any money? Give High my, five. Give my dad half that. <laughs> Jack can be irritating, but you gotta like him. If you don't like him, He'll cause trouble. You have to like him. Yeah, what are you thinking about Jacko coming in here? He just wants to come. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs>